All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Madden 23 QB face of the franchise. And as you're looking at right now is the playoff bracket. As you know, last episode, we did lose in the divisional round. As you can see, to the Chiefs, we lost 31 to 17. I made this bracket myself, by the way. It looks pretty neat. I really like it. I'm going to start making my own type of overlays uh, for the videos. It's just fun to do, and it just adds to the quality of the video. So here is the current playoff bracket. Uh, as you can see, I simulated to the end of the season. Uh, so the seven-seeded Broncos, you were seeing that correctly. The seven-seeded Broncos ended up taking out the one-seeded Titans by four, then taking out the Kansas City Chiefs to beat the Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl. The seventh seed, the ultimate Cinderella story. Russell Wilson ended up winning a Super Bowl MVP. I'll show you that uh, screenshot later with all the yearly awards. But what a story for the Denver Broncos. As you can see, we already knew what happened in the first round. We beat the Texans 24 to 34. The Broncos took out the Bengals 37 to 27. Chiefs won 27 to 23. Broncos end up taking out the Titans. We end up losing heartbreaking to the Chiefs. Broncos take out the Chiefs and on the NFC side, the Cowboys take out the Vikings. They end up taking out the Niners by 10. The Commanders make it all the way to the championship game only to lose by 3. To end up losing to the Broncos. And here is a 2023 season recap. As you can see, I did end up winning MVP in my rookie year. Zach Taylor wins coach of the year. I think, honestly, Josh McDaniel should have won it. Uh, CJ Lewis, offensive rookie, uh, offensive player of the year. Max Crosby, defensive player of the year. CJ Lewis, offensive rookie of the year. And Keith Richardson of the Bears wins defensive rookie of the year. So the Raiders took home four. Out of six of the awards, not the biggest one in the Super Bowl, but we took home the MVP, the Offensive Player of the Year, the Defensive Player of the Year, and the Offensive Rookie of the Year. That is insane. What a season for the Raiders and for C.J. Lewis. And as you can see, Russell Wilson did win Super Bowl MVP. And that is going to take us into our first game of the season against Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns. So let's hop into that. It is going to be a post commentary because I did not plan on actually uploading this video, uploading this game, but it ends up going into overtime. So it's a special one. So stay tuned and I'll see you there. All right, here we are. First quarter, 740 left. The Browns did not score on their first possession, but CJ Lewis is ready for year number two, ready to get that Super Bowl. And we're going to kick it out to Josh Jacobs for a few yards. Third and six here. We failed. On that second down. Did not end very well. But I'm looking for Josh Jacobs again. That route is just too nasty. And he is going to hold on. And get us the much needed first down. That one going for 10 yards. First down and 10. Thanks to Josh Jacobs. 10 yard gain. Let's see what can be done here. Can we find a man open? We d And it's picked off. My first interception of the season. That And I just get. I guess he's made of butter. I don't know how I didn't get that. First interception of the year. Not a way to start it off. 3-0. to zero. The Browns did not score. As you know, our defense is pretty solid. And that's almost picked. Awesome. Third and 10 after a near interception. We got the four verticals. This can go well. Nope. All right. First and 10. Browns also did not score again. Uh, the, their defense has been killing us. I don't know what our old line is doing. They cannot pass protect for anything right now as I just have to whip that B down the field and it goes nowhere second and 10 I am just running for my life in this game to be brutally honest with you I have someone wide open it is going to be I think Jordan Addison with the reception first down and 10 after that Josh Jacobs with the ball he's gonna run through around the defense he's gonna get a solid gain there down to the 42, second and four now. We're going to give it back on the ground to Josh Jacobs. He's been having himself a day, and he runs through a few blockers and gets down second and nine now in this game. They're still only trailing by three, and I am going to get sacked, bro. This O-line has been abysmal. Third and 19 after the sack. Does not knock us out of field goal range just yet, but thank God I got rid of it because it would have knocked us out of field goal range, but I do end up I'm sorry, we end up getting the field goal. I did not kick the field goal. And there's interception number two of the game. Uh, I did not have a multiple interception game 
I believe, since the Patriots game where I threw it 600 yards. That was, so week, like, six, I think that was, as I go for a big run of 16 yards. Week six of 2023 was the last time I had a multiple pick game as I slang that thing over to the tight end while under pressure. So not a great start to the season, throwing two interceptions, and I'm once again running for my life. Nearly picked off for the third time in the game. Uh, second and 10, down by 10. I didn't even notice the score, and that's going to be wide open the tight end. Darren Waller, I don't know if he got hurt, but he didn't up, didn't end up playing the rest of the game. We had our backup tight end in the game. Uh, I forget what his name is. It's Max something. As that pass is broken up, second and 10 now. We're going to fake off, play action play, run for my life, and not end up giving the ball up to the check down. So, 30-19 now. We have a chance to score a field goal, possibly. I mean, I'll take it as that one's deflected, and we are going to have to settle for three. 6-20 to 20 now is the score. The Browns went down, scored a touchdown, and it's looking pretty bleak. Down two possessions, and they are bull rushing me, and I once again have to throw out of the sack. I am 4-16. Four, four and most of that has been cute. Like, look at the, the old line is just not able to do anything. They cannot block if their lives depended on it. Like, I have no time in the pocket. Look, I have to immediately scramble out of the pocket. I do pick up the first down. But no time. Let's see. One, two, and the pocket already collapsed. Here comes Miles Garrett, and I'm sacked. And that basically sums up this entire game. Was I have at least a second or two in the pocket, especially with Miles Garrett with his X Factor. I have no time with that as I'm 5 for 19 on the night. It just did not go well at all. Third and 22, down by two possessions. Devontae Adams does not haul it in, and we're going to have to punt 5 for 20 on the night. It's a terrible, terrible game. And yeah, I understand the two picks were my fault as I'm going to get a huge run here, not for the first down, but. Gets us into solid territory to possibly score before halftime. But, yeah, those two picks, 100% my fault. But the, these incompletions are not. I'm just pressured for immediately while I'm in the pocket. Once the ball gets snapped, I'm getting pressured. But big second down here with 19 seconds left, and I am going to take a 15-yard sack. So we are forced to use our final timeout. 17 seconds left. Can we get downfield and spike the ball? Probably not, but Devontae Adams... He's going to get the reception, but not enough time left. We cannot score before halftime. 6-20. to 20. It says the Browns have the ball. I just noticed that on the scoreboard, but that is just not true. Devontae Adams, big reception. I'm going to start the heat up in the second half to fuel this comeback. Can we do it? Down to the tight end inside the 5 at the 3-yard line. Devontae Adams will most likely be wide open here. Can he get it? And he is going to get the first touchdown of the game for the Las Vegas Raiders. Devontae Adams, first touchdown of the season. Makes it a one-score game. And that play was all for nothing because it ended up being holding on the offense. Yep. Any positive, the O-line has to ruin, whether it's not blocking or it's a holding penalty. O-line will always shine in those moments. Third and 19 now after the holding call. I get it. Down field to I believe my tight end once again for the first down and I'm going to do the same thing Devontae Adams midfield gets it these vertical routes are working pretty well it's really the only thing we can do as I am going to throw the short one to um I'm sorry Josh Jacobs I almost called him Nick Chubb to Josh Jacobs we're going to give it to him on the ground he's been playing great with the run game and he's going to do even better here getting a gain of about eight yards seven yard ish He's got 40-plus on the day, and I'm going to give it up to the tight end, and he's going to haul it in down inside the 8. Josh Jacobs is going to finish off this drive with a touchdown to tie up the game. What a run for Josh Jacobs. We're all tied up at 20 apiece, and this is where it starts to slow down for both. I'm sorry. The Browns end up scoring a touchdown, and it starts to slow down for both offenses as C.J. Lewis Gets by the defender, breaks a tackle, and goes down. Josh Jacobs is going to get us the first down. But yeah, as you saw that clip where Josh Jacobs scored the touchdown, it was the third quarter. And as you can see, we are uh, four minutes into the uh, fourth quarter. And obviously not much has happened. It's been back and forth. Uh, both offenses have uh, not scored much. It's been a defensive battle. But we're streaking down the field. 
first and 10. Josh Jacobs having himself a day. And he's going to have a big run here. They give us the first down with three minutes left. 15 rushes, 89 yards, and a touchdown for him. But he's going to get stuffed there. They knew exactly what was going to happen. Loss of two. Good old four verticals. Let's see what this can do. Devontae Adams is going to break free. And he is going to be a yard short. So you know who we're going to give it to. The man who you wouldn't think would be able to do it with a running AI Madden. But he does. Josh Jacobs in the end zone powers his way. Second rushing touchdown of the day for him. And he ties up the game with two minutes remaining. That will lead us to the fourth quarter with 18 seconds left. We have two timeouts. One big play down the field could be huge. And I'm looking for my tight end high pass. And it's broken up. 12 seconds left. Still time. Still time. Two timeouts as we go down to six seconds now. As I had an incompletion on second down. And that will most likely do it. But Josh McDaniels. His genius game plan. He wants to run the ball. Run the ball. When the Browns have three timeouts. He wanted to run the ball. It took me a second to realize this. I switched it to four verticals. And I was like, why are we running a play? If we run the ball and they stop us immediately, they have a timeout and they're in field goal range. So I said, nah, we're switching to the punt. We're going to overtime. The Browns won the coin toss. They ended up kicking a field goal, which gave us a chance to rebuttal. And Josh Jacobs is going to start with a gain of two on the ground. Third and four now. I am in the pocket. We need this conversion or we lose. And it is complete. I'm sorry. It's four down territory. So, I mean, we can go for it on fourth. But this drive was all third and fourth downs. It was like Justin Herbert versus the Raiders in 2020. That's all it was. I had circle wide open, I just noticed. But I did not go to him. So, that leaves us at fourth and 12. Biggest drive of the game. If we do not convert, we do not win. Can we do it? And Devontae Adams is going to be the hero. He hauls it in for the first down. What a game this man is having. Third and 10 once again. Bars. 27 to 30. We need this conversion. We're going to go to Jordan Addison. And he's going to be deflected because the cornerbacks in Madden have eyes in the back of their heads. And we're going to settle for the field goal here. Probably a smart move. And Browns do not answer back. And we got a minute 15 left in this game. I'm going to go for a big run. That is going to be a first down. 58 rushing yards on the day for C.J. Lewis. This is must gain territory here. Second and 10. Josh Jacobs going to get us the first down. I have 363 yards, but still an abysmal game to start off the season for the MVP. As Josh Jacobs again gets us into range. We call a timeout. Now we run the ball and we can get a few more yards. Make that field goal a little bit easier for Daniel Carlson. Can Josh Jacobs get us positive yardage here? And he does. He gets us to the 35. The Browns are going to start burning through their timeouts now. So we got about one more play to run here. Probably two more plays. The Browns will most likely call a timeout after this. And then we can run out the clock a little bit as Josh Jacobs goes down. The Browns are going to call their last timeout with 33 seconds left. And that is where we are going to run. Third and eight. It will bring us to fourth down. We can call a timeout. We can kick a field goal. And we can go home with a huge comeback victory in overtime. An amazing way to start off the season. Josh Jacobs is going to get us about two yards. And I decided to call a timeout immediately because if I didn't, uh, Madden would have uh, had us not call a timeout and this game would have ended in a tie. So we end up winning 33-30. to What a comeback down 14 at one point. It looked very bad throwing two picks to start off the game. CJ Lewis has a second half, amazing second half to end this game with a victory. I ended up with a 56 passer rating because I went 40% completion percentage. Threw the ball 54 times. That's a career high. But that is going to do it. What a game from Josh Jacobs. 96 yards, two touchdowns. I had 58 yards. Devontae Adams, 174 yards and a touchdown. He played out of his mind. Josh Jacobs with 65 yards, no touchdowns. Mari Cooper, decent game. Alex McMullen was our tight end. Uh, sacks allowed. Do the math. I think it was, what, like six, eight sacks allowed? There it is. But that's going to be it for me. Leave a like as they enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.